Parade of Lights, welcome. Hello. Hello. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. How are you? I'm doing well. <laughs> so let's do uh, Ryan. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Michelle. Mm -hmm. Randy. Yes, sir. You got how, it. All right, cool. How, how would you guys describe yourselves? Because I'm finding it really difficult to explain what your style of music is. Oh, the style of music or yeah. us individually? <laughs> the, the band. Well, we could do either one. Um, well, style of music, I don't know. Like we had, to, we talked about this yesterday. It's kind of like we're obviously pop, but you know, we try to dress it up in something that is kind of sonically, you know, slightly different from what's going on right now. And right. We love shoegaze. We love electronic music. So we just try to lump all our influences in, and you know, do what we do. Did, did you grow up on shoegaze? Is that what mm -hmm. what it was? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could take point on that one. Yeah, I mean like when I met Ryan, we bonded over this band called Failure, mm -hmm. and then we also love just like you know um, like Ryan Adams and just pop bands in general. So sure. I think like we we write pop songs, but like it's kind of dressed in dirty shoegaze alternative mm -hmm. pop. <laughs> it's all yeah. big soup. We love all kinds of weird stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. It was I saw yeah I saw the term shoegaze on your website and in your bio a lot. Uh, I liked Catherine Wheel yeah. when I was oh, yeah. growing up. Was that one of your guys' favorites? Black Metallic. Yeah, yeah. Black oh, Metallic. Yeah. That was the song that kind of turned me on to that. And mm -hmm. that was another time where I was like, what Same is here. this style of music? And mm -hmm. if, you, if you like, I mean, those overtones are also bleeding into, you know, pop music, like electronic dance music and everything, right. you know, because it's very, it's almost like they use the voice as a synth, you know, so there's that underlying it, tone. It's the extra instrument. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's do a song. What, what is it? What? Tell me what the first song you're gonna play is and kind of the backstory behind it. It's called Feeling Electric. It was, I think, it was actually one of the first songs that was kind of floating around for the album we released this past summer called Feeling Electric. And uh, yeah, it's in that uh, game FIFA right. 16, and uh, it's crazy. It's just been, you know, the video had how many views? It had like 30,000 views like a few weeks ago, and it's sure. at like 230,000 yeah, now. Right. I mean, we didn't know the severe, or the gravity of that game. It's just it's the biggest game world. You it's know? crazy. Yeah. So it's it's good. Yeah. So yeah. this is that song. Cool. <laughs> I remember when I saw you You know I couldn't look away You're the spark that starts a fire now Tell me, do you feel the same? So give me one more shot You can tell me all your secrets And I will never tell a soul I'll make a promise and I'll keep it Cause I will never let you go So give me one more shot tonight I will tell you if my heart stops beating right Let me show you that the only thing I know No matter where we go I feel just like I did when we connected I'm feeling electric Oh, whoa. 
Stop speeding right Let me show you that The only thing I know No matter where we go I feel just like a dream When we connected I'm feeling electric I'm feeling electric I saw that your songs were been used in a lot of sporting promos, like the Olympics and the Super Bowl and a ton of other coverage. Why do you think your music, your particular music, is so popular within that realm, like the sports realm? Because we're obviously super athletic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. It's, I guess it's kind of empowering, and it's the you know we're very into anthemic pop songs. And sure, that's sort of just what we do. But that's our natural inclination is to just write anthemic empowering stuff and it's always there's always been like a positive slant you know sure to what we do and i think people that resonates with a lot of people you ever made like a sad song um what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i mean definitely i mean we've definitely done all kinds of things and all kinds of different you know sub, tons of su subject matter that sure it either fits or it doesn't you know what's the writing process like between the four of you just you know we'll kick it off and I'll generally like just kick off an idea, send it to him. We bounce it back and forth. We all bounce back and forth till it's done. Yeah, that's kind of it. How do you deal with your writer's block? Um, that's, good. <laughs> oh, no, that's a good question. That's a good, that's question. That's a good question. I don't know. Usually, yeah. I like throw stuff around. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I've thrown my office chair a couple times. Yeah, Ryan, uh, when he's frustrated, he's like, ah. <laughs> but, uh, stuff. We're actually doing other stuff because you know we do like he's a photographer. You know, like. Randy, Michelle do like a lot of the socials. I'm a, I do gra some graphic design stuff. So like, like our Facebook and all of our website, it everything's done by us. Right. So it, it the the music complements the aesthetic of the band, and it, you know we're just able to do it faster when it's mm -hmm. us. yeah sure. A, a lot of stuff I saw online that you guys have is beautiful. Like it's the like stunning artwork. Yeah. Uh, I mean I could appreciate that where we're at right now in the Silicon Valley. Uh, I I had thought that. You guys had other people doing that work for you, but that's yeah, awesome yeah. that you guys do it yourself. In fact, uh, speaking of uh, Adobe, uh, we listened to this IDM artist. Uh, his name is Tycho, and yeah. he, you know, he was a, you know, creative director across the street. Yeah, know, right. Yeah. Ten years, and now he's on. Uh, he's doing really well, and he writes great music. So it, it's. I think that's how musicians are now. It's like you do everything. It's like you have. To, we so coined have the. To. Yeah, we coined the phrase 360 artist," right? You got to do everything. Sure. That's okay. what we're all about. Absolutely. Okay, let's do another song. So tell me about this next one. Uh, this song, speaking of sports, uh, it's called Golden. Um, boy, this has been in so many like sports things. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But the biggest one was the Sochi Olympics. Yeah. The so and then yeah. I think this is the one where I saw it on the E Network before the red carpet show. Yeah. That's yeah. right, right? Yeah. I think that's when I was first exposed to you guys. My wife was watching and I was like, fuck, that's a cool song. Like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know us, but you almost know us. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 yeah, yeah totally. I've heard this yeah. song. I've never <laughs> seen them before. They're so weird looking. <laughs> I like Ryan Seacrest better. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, let's do it. We gonna shake the ground tonight I lose myself under the lights Oh I put my hands up to the sky 
I feel it come alive Everybody get golden Everybody get golden And put your hands up to the sky Everybody get golden Just for tonight Everybody get golden So we can go until we shine Now it's as good as it can get Silver hills and silhouettes, oh You press your hands against my chest But this isn't over yet Everybody get golden Everybody get golden And put your hands up to the sky Everybody get golden Just for tonight Everybody get golden So we can go until we shine I feel it come alive I feel it come alive No I feel it come alive So we can go until we shine Everybody get golden Everybody get golden up to the sky everybody get golden just for tonight everybody get golden so we can go until we shine I feel it come alive so we can go until we shine I feel Come alive, no. So we can go until we shine. It's a long rain. <laughs> <laughs> you guys find it hard to play acoustically like this with your set? I mean, it, it, it's getting easier, but like it's not our thing, really. Yeah, right. You know? yeah. It's like. Of course, like we're happy to do it. It it's sounds just, it's, great. It's just weird. it's weird for us. Yeah, you know? right. Because we're like usually so loud and so we, electronic. Sure. We have uh, we got this tweet. What was that tweet in that club? It was like a, a an an anthem or arena show in a small club. Oh, in a fifty person <laughs> venue. Right. Yeah, we got a cool tweet. Yeah, Pretty that was loud. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so I think I know the answer to this question already, but. Uh, you guys are playing Neck of the Woods tonight in San Francisco. And if you go to their website, they say the three largest bands that have played there are Otis Redding, Run DMC, and Metallica. Oh, so who would each one of you, out of those three, most like to have worked with? Oh, we're, well, that's a little different. <laughs> I was going to immediately scream Metallica. Because, like, well, I guess let's start with the tape story. What happened? Well, we had a tape adapter in our van that we were using for our phone. Mm -hmm, it for broke. So we decided to just... Naturally. Yeah. yeah. First of all, it's a tape adapter yeah. in the van. Yeah. Well, we had a CD stuck in our CD player. Originally, some hip-hop CD. Yeah. But, so we decided, out. you know, we'll just start bringing tapes with us. And we were just rocking Metallica on the drive here today. Yeah, we listen to Load like and three times. And already. Reload. And Reload. The last two days. It's yeah. been Nothing but Metallica. We love Metallica. Yeah, we're getting the riffs down so we can sound check with them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know they live around here, so you might oh, yeah, see them. Huh? Yeah, they're up I here. I guess I don't know. That's a good question. I defer to you. Yeah. Well, I mean. I think it would be like a side dream of yours to like work you know, with Metallica. Well, we've always had a running joke that we're gonna start a death metal band called Death Wish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the side. <laughs> the prime Metallica. Yeah. Let's just do Metallica. Yeah. yeah. Well, what individually? I mean, like, what about you? Say Metallica. Metallica? Yeah. Is it is it a clear across the board? I mean, Randy, what do you think? 
I'm definitely Metallica. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Michelle? Metallica. No, Otis Redding. Yeah. I was gonna say, ah. It's not possible. Otis <laughs> Otis but I mean, just I like in this dream world, if you could. In the dream world, yeah. yeah. I think Otis Redding would be cool. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. I would lay down some bass with him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, so now, aside from the possibility of like fame and making millions of dollars, what is it that music... What is it that you about music that you have to have in your lives? Hmm. I don't think any any of us really have a choice. I know. It's yeah. just kind of something that like if you don't do it, you're not happy, you're not fulfilled. It's yeah. just something that we all share, an interest that we all share, and something that just we have to do. Right. I know. I every day I'm like, I don't know. I've tried to have regular jobs before. And you don't want to like call and ask. Like, what was your I, first job? My first job was the best job I ever had. I taught swimming lessons oh, yeah? for like six years. <laughs> but then like I worked at like all kinds of crap. And I worked at Starbucks for a little bit. Yeah. Got waxed out of there real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work out too well. Well, because you had you drop everything. Well, it was like we had a show and I'm like, Oh, I gotta split ten minutes early. And they're like, No. And I was like, Well, you've gotta split ten minutes early. So. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me the difference between risotto and an espresso shot? I've yeah. always wondered that. Yeah, ristretto, you mean? Yeah, is that how you say it? Yeah. Ristretto? Okay. It's like more potent. Okay. It's like it takes longer to pull. I don't know exactly what the mechanism is. But All right. I mean, they know their espresso shots. Absolutely. They do like five shots in the morning. Okay, yeah, I'm the same shots. way, but I, I, w I don't know the difference between what that was. I never it's ordered just it. It's like more potent or something. It's supposed to have better flavor, I know, and it's like... Sure. It's just more saturated. Okay, uh, speaking of espresso, let's we'll start with you, Michelle. Uh, what is, what's your favorite drink? <laughs> I'm gonna get crap for this. I, uh, I, I drink a lot of sugar. Sugar. Okay. So I go Just for a straight sugar. Straight, straight sugar. sugar, yeah, sugar water. Just a cup of sugar. So I go for <laughs> a white chocolate mocha. Okay. But I like hot tea too, so I'll do hot tea. Okay. I can try a tea latte and everything, yeah. Sure. Randy? Uh, well, I previously was. Oh, yeah, he was on board with me. Yeah, shots of espresso. No alcohol? Nothing? Ooh. Oh, uh, you those kind Anything, of whatever you like to drink. Yeah, sure. Oh, God. I like I like craft beers. Like, okay. I like trying, in every city that we go to, I like trying, like, a new beer. Absolutely. Okay. Do you know what you're going to try in San Francisco? Hmm. What is out here? I don't know. There's is so there, many. Is there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a good night. Get an Anchor Steam. Anchor Steam? Oh, I've had Anchor Steam. Yeah. Anchor Steam's good. Yeah, I think that's my favorite San Francisco. Yeah. Oh. I like any kind of IPA. Yeah, yeah. he's an IPA, IPA dude. IPA guy. What about you? Tea. Tea? Yeah. yeah. What, I, I what kind of tea? Uh, English breakfast Kay. with um, just some honey and just, just simple. Yeah. I, I stopped drinking coffee about a year ago. Okay. Um, and then for beer, uh, Lagunitas. Lagunitas. IPA. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's up in our neck of the woods. Yeah. Lighter fluid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't know. I like espresso. I drink a lot of espresso, and I'm a water freak. Oh yeah. I Do like you have an espresso maker in your house? No, I don't. I okay. Don't. I spend too much money on Starbucks. <laughs> I think you like the ritual of like going to. Yeah, Starbucks. I like the ritual more. Sure. You're basically, anything. like a shareholder now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I wish. Dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get into the last song. Tell us about it. What it is. Uh, you want to? No, um, it's called Undefeatable, and um, yeah, I mean, no, really, what is what is there to say about it? Because it's kind of like well, we haven't really been playing it all, a whole bunch and stuff. Yeah, I mean, so, you know, we wrote the record that came out this year in Nashville, which was a departure for us. And it was kind of good because when we're in L.A., we're around our families and all that, so it, it, it gets hard. So we were just concentrating in Nashville. And this song, actually, um, it just... Uh, to me personally, it, it's kind of an empowering song. The way I take it lyrically, it, it's it's just like the mother that has two jobs, just trying to put food table, uh, put food on the table for her kids. I mean, it's open wide, but you know, it's like you can do it. You know, like she's undefeatable. Like it goes back to the empowering sort of thing that just seems to be a common thread throughout all the songs yeah. Yeah. for some reason. I don't, yeah. you know, it just kind of happens. Yeah, which. I th I'm personally am proud of about the band because it has a positive message and I think it's something that people can right you know, absolutely do. we had that tweet you want that some uh, that's kind of dark but it's a little dark yeah it's all right yeah. it's, it's, a, it's helped some people I think yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. okay uh, yeah it's it's a good dark. When people yeah. reach out, that is that one of our songs I'll just say it. I'll just I mean I'll just it's a good tweet like okay. basically. No, do it, do it, do it. Something about you know suicide and everything, and right. how that song helped his daughter, you oh. know, get through it. So, I mean, that's kind of deep and yeah. heavy, but it, it's 
that's it. That's but why it, we. It happened. That's yeah. why we do it. That's you know? incredible. It like took my breath away, like reading something like that, because it's just wow. The yeah. Song could do that. Yeah, the yeah. power you have. It's crazy. So that's why this this is a special song in the set for us. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. So here we go. Yeah. On that note. <laughs> So it's just another day Working hard to wait till everything falls into place Like a face without a name But history is gonna change Now it's time to take a stand Even if you feel the weight of the world now and then Cause the future's in your hands So keep on fighting till the end Come on, tear me apart Rip right through the middle Before you bend and make it count your life as something you have to defend. You could lose or you could win. So keep on fighting to the end. Come on. Lights, thank you guys. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Good luck tonight. Thanks. Have fun. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. I'm yeah, excited. sweet. Thanks, guys. Thank you. It's thank awesome. You. Thank you.